Prophet Stingander uh, says I'm wrong about global warming. Uh, you want to go? Stingander, I can choose you. You can come to Discord, talk to me, or say in chat, where is Tommy K wrong about global warming? I'm choosing Prophet Stingander. Okay, let's go. Call me. Here we go. Okay, let's... I'm going into this always green right. I'm not prepared. Let's see what's going on. Italy accepts. What do they accept? Can you hear me? Hello. What's up, man? How are you doing? Oh, I'm accepted into EU. Okay. Um, first of all, I just wanted to thank you for having me. That is very nice of you. And uh, to let me have a talk here. That's uh, very cool of you. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening. Well, the thing about... Um, climate change and global warming what I am seeing with you is you say that every everything is needed as uh, let's say it's needed to cleanse humanity to uh, destroy it um, I don't see the point where you try to say that we have to do anything against it or like it's a bit of it's coming anyway we are we are done for you know what I mean Hey, hey, bro, you're, you're, you're totally on the wrong path. If you watch my streams a lot, when I say I want global warming to kill us all, that's obviously meant in a polemic way when I talk shit about society. I obviously don't mean that. If you watch my streams a lot, you know I'm I, I, I'm totally for uh, uh, doing actually something about global warming, like uh, legislation, blah, 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 you know? But obviously but you, you can't think I, I, I mean that. Uh, well, I, I do to a degree because you say that technocracy is the only way to save us because we are on the brink of destruction. I obviously always uh, also mean that comedic, but I, I, w I say I would like to see the concept of technocracy tried once. I never say it's the, the savior, the Hail Mary, but it would be an interesting concept to look into once. But don't make this about technocracy. I know you want to do that. Stay with the fucking global warming shit. No, no, I said I think you are wrong about the global warming and the technocracy thing. Like, not global warming in general. I think it's a very big threat. I just have the feeling that you, as a person, think we can't handle it. And we can't handle it at all, and we will be destroyed by it. Okay. And what shows you, what gives you hope that the human race can handle the, the issue of global warming right now? Well, we had a lot worse things we went through, and not all of humanity is just going to be destroyed by global warming. Um, there were bigger catastrophes at earlier ages on, where... Can Humanity you, yeah. didn't was what uh, wasn't wiped out uh, completely. Okay, but what is your point on that? Like, we should just. I well, I think that it we we as uh, humans we are able to adapt, we are able to find solutions, and we are able to overcome problems. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think technocracy isn't the way. Okay, but your statement is very polemic. What what is the way? Where 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 do you see, uh, where do you see certain things happening on Earth right now that give you hope, other than in the past we we did well? Before I answer this, um, I want to say that a lot of media nowadays is very negative. Mm -hmm. Everything you hear is war, corona, um, pandemics, and uh, that is making you very. I would say. Nihilistic in a way. Okay, I agree. When you do not look too much into news, or you just have um, something like, I would say, uh, I'm, I'm taking this for an example. When I sit down in my car, I don't turn on the radio because I just want to listen to nice music. Mm -hmm. Then I sit in, I have a nice day, and I think everything is fine. When I don't do that, and I put on the radio news, and I hear everything about war, everything about... Uh, Corona, everything about uh, prices are rising and mm -hmm. um, crisis, uh, crisis like that. Then I think, okay, um, we are going down. But that isn't the case. That just isn't the case. When you hear about uh, medicine doing progress, when you hear about uh, just little things that advance and get better, then that is something for me that I hold on. And I am saying, wow, it's just... Uh, it's hope. Like, I know the problems are there, but we always had problems, but we also always overcame them. That's why we stand where we stand. Um, yes, there's a lot of progress, but do you see this progress in the global uh, issue of global warming? Do you do you see a lot of progress there? When you when you when you look at when you look at neutral news, nothing nothing negative, positive. When you look at scientists making papers about drought. 
uh, about the, the what happens when the 1.5 degrees happen with uh, the, the melting of the poles. Uh, should we just should we take these kind of news not serious because we we always survived, uh, or should we take? Wouldn't you say these news indicate that it's not standing that well in this global issue? Or exactly the contrary. I say that we always will are able to overcome anything and we shouldn't have the view of something being hopeless I, I fully, we always yeah, should yeah. take things serious but we shouldn't be dragged down by negativity okay, all you, around us you the negativity all around us should push us more towards yes, the goals agree. because say, we want to make things better fully agree but you say we should think take things serious uh, is is uh, globally the issue of global warming being taken serious right now especially like in brazil and china uh, and even in Europe, is it being taken serious right now? Do you do we feel very hopeful there? Well, we do not feel hopeful because a lot of things that we hear are always negative, and we feel about things being out of our um, yeah. but but what if possibility of capability are actually objectively in reality in this universe actually negative? What if they are just that negative? Is there a possibility that the news we hear about global war are actually that negative, and that's just a fact? No, it, it shouldn't be a fact because we can change it. A lot of people just listen to that and are like, okay, yeah, it's over. And that is sometimes what I get from your point of view when you say um, we can't handle it or we won't be able to handle um, the future. You know what I mean? I feel like with someone like you, you I like your, your views and, and, and not giving up and stuff. But something I see with people like you is you, you have a lot of hope, but you always put it always into other people's basket. You uh, progress, medicine, uh, fixing global warming. Uh, you think others are going to do it for you, which is kind of even a bit technocratic, one might say. But um, do you feel that you yourself are doing something against global warming? Or do you just hope that others are going to do it for you? I see the good in people, not in technology. I don't want techno um, uh, technology to take over our basic possibilities. For example... If I can handle something and make something very well, why shouldn't I just keep on doing it? And why shouldn't I be able to rely on other people? I want to see the good in people, because in times of crisis, there is a lot of evidence for people coming together, helping each other out, mm -hmm. and not just abandoning a fellow human. Because that is what society is based on. It's people and not machines. And if people in a very, very big gathering can work together when conditions are good, they can... They can work a lot better and they have to work a lot better together when things get worse. And that is exactly what I think we are capable of and always have been capable of. And once again, when things this... get worse, um, sorry, sorry, can I just yeah, keep sure. continuing on the things yeah. I do? Um, for example, I, I, um, this is, this is a bit private, but I'm still going to say it. I am, uh, I'm a police officer. Because I love, uh, I'm, I'm in Germany, obviously, um, if you didn't hear it, but I became one not because I think that crime is going to destroy us and crime is going to uh, rise up. I became one to help the people who need help. And because I want to be a person who in desperate times can be the person who does something against the problem. Now I can't clean wounds and that's why I would need a doctor for that, but I can, um, I can defend someone and that's what I learned. Like, I want to give something back with my own hands and I know that other people can do that too, if we just know our true potential. I fully agree and I think that's a beautiful way to approach life, but I also think it could be possibly there's a risk of, of being a naive way to look at life. You believe in people and I agree with that. We should. You should never give up on people. But um, if we look at the issue of global warming currently and the 8 billion people on Earth that are currently not coming together to face the threat and the 1.5 degrees will pr pretty much happen and have devastating consequences to Earth. Um, I think that your point is, is often very, very, very basic. Uh, what, where exactly are people coming together uh, to, to fix this problem globally? You live in Germany and you're a police officer. You know that we Germans don't do jack shit about global warming. A bunch of young people go to fight us for future, but we are all driving our cars. We all want our goods. We are doing jack fucking shit. Where do you see in your everyday life and globally people coming together to face this threat? 
that is a problem that is there um it's true but there are also a lot of people who are trying their best yes 100%. not to let this happen um the problem with us i think sometimes politics can't handle problems very well because they don't listen to us and the people they are listening to don't know too much about what they actually need and what is actually good for them i mean that is just democracy um however once problems rise up we are quite capable of helping and i i get that you think this is a naive view however when you when you are in my um line of work you see you see well, I would say Sorry, the most... Like, um, the moment you said that, I got an event in Hoi 4 that says uh, the buff naive worldview is gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, you see the people from the bottom of society. Sadly, sadly, they are the bottom of society and that is... That hurts me. However, you also see a lot of people who want to help. You also see a lot of people who do good who are thankful and i don't want to be dragged down even though i see a lot of people not doing well not living a good life because that is something you can change with uh, help with i would say um hope yes. um i i i just don't see how this hopeful view does anything real it's just hopeful thinking everything's going to be good but I, I, what, what i what i feel like i'm missing in your worldview is where's the action the action comes from hope if you have hope that something good comes from your actions you will take action for example if i think that what i will do in an hour will help a lot of people or uh, will help myself will benefit people then i would then i would do it but if i know that um what i do is pointless or hopeless it's I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm i don't have the motivation i don't have the drive and that is exactly why i think it's very imp uh, uh, very important to show people that it is possible even though we have problems i know that global warming is going to come i know that global warming is probably not um not a problem we can um stop right now but we can handle it and even though it is going to happen probably because a lot of people don't do enough now they will they will surely do a lot when the things get worse and i don't think that we fall apart i think we have the potential to then come together and handle it like basically yeah, yeah. like we basically yeah, always and, did and that view is very very human in the way that's reactionary it's a reaction to something but when something bad happens like global warming when it happens and brings drought and, and heat etc people will come together but uh, but i would like to think that with an issue like global warming we have to be proactive and and it seems like the uh, especially the way you ex describe it people come together when evil already happened but they don't come together before that and i think in the case of global warming that's very 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 dangerous very risky and it's gonna lead us down a, a bad path also i often you have a great vote i love that man you about uh, hope etc but i often oh, when, when you said we're going to handle it, we're going to get it, I, will, well, I, I would like to hear factual stuff. What exactly are we going to do? What, When Germany has droughts and the water's getting down, what are we going to exactly do? Well, I mean, the technology to um, use salt water, to use the water from the ocean is there. It's just costly. But once the water runs out, we will have to resort to that. And it is possible. But it all sounds very reactive. Like when when the bad stuff happens, we come together as humans. We're all hugging each other, and we're all gonna fix it. I mean, as um as right as of right now, I try my best to um, live life so that um, I would say, um, what what's the English word for nachhaltig? <laughs> uh, Can you help me there, please? Um, again, please. S sustainability sustainability exactly i try my best to do that i'm but i'm just a simple man i'm just trying my best to uh yeah and that's do beautiful, something good beautiful. but um, even even you must realize that billions of people on this planet are not like you i mean or, or, i know so that actually the other way around they are like you they they also want to be happy and stuff uh, and for example 1.2 billion chinese that also want to all buy cars and that in the end the co2 from there is going to be the big problem 
but but even you must realize that billions of people unfortunately are not as social and 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 hopeful as as, as you and I, I sometimes and have a problem with that so many people are putting the problems of the world into other people's hands we're gonna handle it when it happened technology is gonna handle this for us it's all gonna happen but we we normal people you police officer me a streamer we still drive our cars we, we we still buy our plastic we we don't do much and that's why this doomerism i have often comes i feel let me ask this question maybe final question before i do the cancel war do 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 you believe in your own personal life that you deserve that global warning will not treat you that they will not hit you do you think you live a life right now that you deserve global warming shouldn't be a problem for you you know what i mean does that question make sense so uh, do you mean um if i feel uh, safe if i think when global warming no, no, is no, happening no, 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 i'm no. going to i mean okay. do you currently lead a lifestyle in your everyday life where you could pat yourself on the shoulder and say i did my best against global warming i did my best to to stop this i do not deserve the repercussions of global warming yes no um obviously um of course i deserve them um, because I live a very luxurious, uh, luxurious lifestyle. Um, however, I'm also trying in this lifestyle to be as uh, sustainable as I can be. Um, the thing is, you, you, um, we aren't people that live in huts anymore and um, just have a fire and uh, hunt for things. We are too advanced. We are too, um, I would say. We, we are too um, reliant, uh, reliant on um, our luxury and our goods. But I think that even though we have our lifestyles, we can change a lot. And I do my best in this uh, lifestyle to just, well, um, make it sustainable. Yeah, and I, and I, once, once again, it happens, think, yes. That's beautiful. But my doomerism comes from even, and this is a scientific fact, even if we 80 million Germans all live like you and even better we, we give away our luxury we still are fucked by global warming because of other countries uh, still making so much co2 and that's where my doomer isn't coming from can you can you give me some kind of hope or some kind of can you say anything that that takes my fear away from that and um, to me unfortunately I, saying that when when it happens to people who come together it's, it's not enough to take my fear away i, I get that you know. but doomerism never leads to victory if you give up before the problems come around, the problems will remain problems and they will destroy you. If you yes, yes. think you can tackle them, you can handle them, and you'll be fine, you still can be fearful. But yeah. you, as a person, and, then, and as a man, and as a human in that situation, are more likely to succeed. If you go into a job interview and you say, I can handle it, you have higher chances of success. If you go in and you'll be like, yeah, I'm not going to get this job anyway, you won't get it. Totally agree. You won't get 100%. it. And if you are not a Duma, but a person who is, who is hopeful, then you know we can handle it. I know it's, I know it's bad, but we are stronger than the problems we face. Every day we wake up and every day we can... We can choose to do good or we can choose to give up. And if we choose to do good, even though the problems arises, uh, arise, we can handle them. And if we do not think that we, as a, as a single person and also as a, as a society, can handle problems, then we won't handle them. Then we are, in fact, going to go down. But I see a lot of people, and when I see a lot of people, I see a lot of humans who want to do good. Who want good in their lives who deserve good and even if you do some uh, if you do some mistakes mistakes are only mistakes if you do not redeem them and every man every woman every child can learn and redeem it um, herself himself and that is where I'm coming from it's also a mental thing and if you wake up every day and think that it's going to fall over and it's going to collapse and we are going to uh, fail then we will. But if we if we stand together against the problem, we can we can handle yes. it. And if we stay, the problem is not going to resolve itself. But we, with a good mentality and a good attitude towards the problem, we can then 
tackle the problem a lot and um, yes. much more better yeah. than when we say, yeah, we're fucked anyways. Okay, I, I think you're totally right. Chat, here's a chat. It's great self-help, but I, I've, I see the risk that everyone here has to acknowledge that he is right on a on a small local level about your own life about helping people in your community but global warming in my opinion is such an international problem that the basic humans you and me cannot fix but it's the politicians that have to fix them that the approach of we have to be positive we can fix it we just have to wake up is unfortunately too uncomplex for this complex issue that is my fear and i, I just don't see how this this motivational Arnold Schwarzenegger lifestyle is applicable to this massive massive problem that's unfortunately seemingly out of our hands because the world politicians have to fix this and they're not really doing enough and I don't even if I I just feel even if I wake up with a positive attitude every single day that's not gonna tell the world not to heat itself up I don't this approach just doesn't give me enough real life action it sounds cool it, it, it makes me want to smile, but even you have to realize that there's a big, big risk that this lifestyle maybe is not enough to fix this massive, massive, if not even the biggest problem of our generation. That's just. I know, but you know. would you have a politician that says we're fucked anyway, or would you have a politician Obviously that not, says 100%. we can yeah, come together 100%. and we um, can handle this? And um, I myself, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a tiny man. I just live my life, but no, you're bigger whenever than I talk to people, I try to help, and you can do the same, and you always do the same because I love watching your streams. I just, I just love watching your streams. They, they, uh, they yeah, let me relax. I then? listen to you. What the fuck? I, I did once. Oh, I did, wow, and I also wow. bought your merch. Okay, okay, okay. I, I also bought your merch. Okay, okay. I, I, sad, I, I just don't but have But once again, I anymore. feel like you're, you're going around the thing that I was asking. Uh, this is all great and stuff, but... Yes. Do you see... that We have to also get to an end here slowly. Do you see that your lifestyle has a risk of, of being too slow, of being too uncomplex to react to the global warming issue and could maybe be just not enough? Know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, I, uh, do you see I that get risk? that. Of course I see the risk, but the risk is obviously still there. Like, global warming is going to happen. And when I, as a, as a tiny man, just try my best to change it, someone may see that and wants to do that as well. And you, for example, that's why I was saying um, you are wrong in this. Um, I obviously don't mean you are wrong um, because uh, my opinion is much better and I know everything. Um, I just think that you as a streamer who uh, has a lot of people watching him uh, you help people out quite a lot with your advice and that is why I find it very I find it very sad that you sometimes say we are fucked anyways because if thousands of people listen to you then you can make thousand, thousands of people listen to someone who uh, gives them hope rather than sad feelings about it or just um, uh, Gleichgültigkeit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, you obviously know your problem, you obviously know um, what's going to happen, but you give people something like a feeling of, yeah, it's, we're fucked anyways, and I think it's a bit sad sometimes. I, I, I get that point. The, the, the problem is I, I see myself as a realist uh, who likes to listen into reason logic and it's hard for me to sell wolf tickets to a chat. If, if you have t stage 5 cancer and you're gonna fucking die 100%, it's hard for me to tell you oh you're gonna live another 10 years. And this, this entire hope talk is amazing. I fully agree and I could get better than it. It's just hard for me to, to live a lie. And if a major major issue is right in front of us, we have to face that issue even if it hurts. And even if there's no no hope, and it's just hard for me to to give hope where deep inside I think this is, you know, and life is sometimes like and 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 and, 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 and history, man. Sometimes there's fucking hopeless times, and that you need strong people to get over that. And I just hope we, I hope you're right, and we will all come together and and fix it. I'm just scared maybe we're not <laughs> strong enough to fix it.
But anyway, I think we I want to uh, slowly put an end to this. I think we talked pretty long here, and I want to do Ukrainian civil war, which sounds really weird. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, but I think, I'm sorry for taking so much time. Uh, uh, thank you for wrong, having me. I, and, I think um, this was a perfect example of that. Even an unsub uh, can be a normal <laughs> human being, and we can talk like normal <laughs> humans, man. I think that was very beautiful, man. I am I uh, very it. thankful for your time. I appreciate you taking um, the time in your stream to have me as a guest yeah, on hey, Discord. You know, no, if you ever uh, see me, me speak. speeding in real life, you, you get me a pass. You know that, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to answer that. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to answer. Um, maybe. Anyway, thank, thank you very much, maybe. man. Thank you. I, I thank you very much as well. Um, as I've said again, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your streams. And um, Thank you for even service. though I'm just a non-sub pleb, I am very, very <laughs> proud of uh, you being a streamer on Twitch because oh, man, you, you know, are a good streamer. I'm proud of you streamer. being a policeman. I, that, the things you said to you today were very beautiful, man. That's a very good attitude to have in life. Okay, now Thank let's, you let's stop sucking each other's dicks. I'm going to die <laughs> right, in the right. Love you, man. GG. Take care. Good luck in the war. That was cool, man. That was, man, I'm actually very surprised, man. Talking to Wolf Poops, talking to him. You guys actually sometimes are actually normal human beings, man. Bro, you made it till the end of the video. Congratulations. So why not click this video now? You're already here anyway. Just do it. Uh